This video will help guide you through the installation and configuration of Supercade. First launch an internet browser. I'm using Internet Explorer in this case. Sign up if you haven't done so already. Click the launch button. And because I'm using IE, this will automatically install the software for me. I don't have to uh, manually download it and launch it from my desktop first. If you're using a different browser, uh, that's okay. It's no big deal. Enter your email address and password. This warning appears when you are connected to the internet through a router and you don't have your ports forwarded. It tells you here which port you need to forward, 27886 TCP and UDP. I will walk you through the configuration of this according to my router. It might be a little different to yours because not everybody's router is the same, but it should help you. Go back to your internet browser, open a new tab or whatever. We're going to go to 192.168.1.1. This is a very common administration address for um, routers. You need to put in your username and password. Many routers have a default. If you don't know your username and password, chances are you didn't set one, and you can find the default on Google. I'm using a Cisco router. This is a very common router and all administration pages should look like this for all Cisco routers. So if you have a Cisco router, uh, that's good news for you. Click on Applications and Gaming. Single port forwarding. Uh, go to any of these lines here which are empty and we can put in a new entry. I'm going to name it Supercade. You can name it whatever you want. Put in the port that it mentioned in the warning message. 27886 in this case. It is the same for external and internal. Protocol is both. And the 2 IP address is the IP address of the computer that will be running Supercade. To find that out, go to Start Menu, launch a command prompt, type ipconfig, and here you can see your uh, internal IP address of this computer. You only need to know the last three digits because that's all the configuration asks for. So remember those, go back to the configuration, type them in, in my case it was 130, enable it, save the settings. And that's all there is to that. Close it, go back to Supercade, click OK. And then click the warning icon up here in the upper right hand corner. This only appears when you don't have the ports forwarded. Clicking it reruns the port test to see if you have correctly forwarded them. Click it, and in this case I did correctly forward them. So that's it for that. Now let's go over some of the interface options for Supercade. First of all, uh, this drop down here will show you every game that Supercade currently supports. There are currently over 150 of them. You should be able to find something you like in here. Uh, my favorite is of course Super Street Fighter 2 Turbo, so I will be using that for uh, this example. Um, I guess we can start with challenging first since that's the most important part. Uh, this is the user list. You can see everybody that's connected. <coughs> Whoever's in the available list, away, playing, uh, these are the people that are currently subscribed to the game that you have selected in the drop-down. Everyone else in unsubscribed are busy playing other games. They are not interested in your game. Um, so find somebody in the available list that you want to play with. The lower the ping, the better. That means that the connection will be better. Click the sword icon next to their name. This will ask you to select your ROMs folder. It tells you which ROMs you need. If any of these ROMs are not found in the folder that you select, the, uh, this pop-up will reappear and ask you to select it again because it can't find them all. Um, all of my ROMs are in the ROMs folder, so I will select that. It will succeed. The challenge will be issued, as you can see here and we will wait to see if the guy accepts, which he just did, and we are connected. So that's all there is to that. Very simple. Uh, press the T button to chat in game. Let me say hello to this dude. Um, Alt, minus, or plus will change the volume. So I'll lower that. Let me just tell this guy I'm doing a tutorial video so he doesn't think I'm an asshole. Uh, 
All right, now to configure your buttons, you click Game, Map Controls, and here you can set all your buttons. Click OK, and that's it, you're ready to play. So we can close that. Myself, set myself to uh, AFK so no one else can challenge me. Um, all right, so there, that takes care of that. There is this Show Images button. This will show you a screenshot for every game that Supercade currently supports. It can be very helpful in finding new games or if you just like looking at uh, pretty pictures. You can scroll through that. Uh, there's a little button here in the center. This is the Play Alone button. If you want to configure your buttons without bothering anybody else or whatever, or, you know, you're just antisocial and feel like playing with yourself for a few minutes, you can do that. Hide the images. This uh, AFK option sets yourself to away. As you can see, set status to away. Uh, this makes it so no one else can challenge you if you are busy cooking dinner or going to the bathroom or something. Uh, what else do we have? Um, ignore button. You can click this to block a person if they are bothering you in chat or sending you repeated challenges that you keep declining. Uh, oh yes, this is a unique option of Supercade. Um, you can see here next to every game there's a checkbox. Um, you, any game that you want to subscribe to, you can click the checkbox for this game and you'll be able to receive challenges from anybody else who is subscribed to the, uh, that game whether or not you have the, that current game selected. I'm already subscribed to Super Turbo because when I challenge someone it automatically uh, subscribed me. If I were to select a different game I can still be challenged in Super Turbo. So that's pretty cool. You don't have to stay in the same room uh, in order to play a game. Uh, is there anything else to talk about? Ah, replays, yes. Um, the record matches option. Uh, it, this is enabled by default and what this does is whenever you finish playing with somebody and you close the emulator window, the replay will automatically be uploaded to the website for anybody to watch. Um, you can go to the website, click on the replays tab. This will show you all the replays uh, that have ever been archived. There are currently over 30,000, quite a few to keep you busy for the rest of your life. Any of these that you want to watch, just click it and it'll automatically open and you can watch it. You can see the names, uh, very cool. If you are not using Internet Explorer, this will download the replay instead of automatically launch it and then you just launch it from wherever you downloaded it. Not quite as easy, but still pretty easy. And I think that about covers it. Uh, if there's anything I forgot, just let me know in the forums and I will make a new video and add that. And if you have any questions on any of this, just post it in the forums and I'll try to help you as soon as I can.